Hey everyone, Q to Sean here. Welcome to part 2 of the Fate Ground Order Lost Belt Chapter 5 Olympus Speculation Series. If you haven't seen part 1, I'll leave a link down below in the video where we talked about Crystaria's servants. In this speculation video, we'll be talking about some other servants I believe will appear and of course talk about the leaks that also came out not too long ago. There are possible spoilers in this video, so you have been warned. Before we get into all the leaks and stuff like that, let's first talk about the servants that might appear in Olympus that actually appeared in the previous chapter, Atlantis. The first servant that comes to mind for most people is of course Muramasa. It really surprised everyone when he made an appearance in the Lost Belt. We found out in Atlantis that Muramasa is one of the four Alter Ego servants serving the alien god. So basically what this means, he is an enemy towards humanity. It really is a shocker because who would have thought that Muramasa would be on the enemy's side. What also is shocking is that he's an Alter Ego class instead of a Saber class because well in Shimosa we obviously know that he's a Saber class because he said it himself. Asahi Adoman, who also appeared in Shimosa, was a caster class, but in the Lost Belt story, he's an Alter Ego class. Tamamovich is also technically an Alter Ego class as well, so a lot of us are confused on why she was revealed as an Assassin class in the Lost Belt trailer, while Doman was revealed as an Alter Ego class. It's possible that the Tamamo we saw in the trailer might be a different Tamamo, or it could be her true class, we just don't know yet. Actually, we haven't even seen the Assassin design yet in the main story, so maybe we'll see it later, who knows? Speaking of Tamamovich, according to the leaks, she will apparently make an appearance in the next chapter and even be an enemy that we fight, but what doesn't make any sense is that the leaks state that she's going to be a Berserker class. Maybe the nano machines in this chapter have something to do with it, who knows? But uh, interesting to see her class change over time, so maybe this is where she becomes an assassin class. We'll see. So what are the chances of Tomamovich and Muramasa joining the Olympus Gacha? I still believe it's very slim. Now that we know Muramasa is on the enemy side, I doubt Type Moon and Delightworks have any plans on releasing him soon. Same goes for Tomamovich. She plays a huge role in the story for the enemy side, so I don't think they would put her in the Gacha so easily. But there are rumors right now that she would betray the alien god and join Chaldea, so I will have some hope for her right up in the part 2 gotcha, but not so much. We can't forget about Rasputin, he was accompanying Muramasa in the Lost Belt, I doubt he will appear in the gotcha as well. Um, I think he's going to play a much bigger role in uh, the main story as an enemy uh, later on, so yeah, I, I doubt that we're going to see him get a gotcha rate up anytime soon. Another name that appeared many times in Atlantis is Hephaestus. He was also talking to Muramasa and Rasputin off screen. For those who don't know who Hephaestus is, he is the Greek god of blacksmith and is the one who creates weapons for Olympus. He is also the son of Zeus who also makes an appearance in Olympus most likely. He is still considered a god in Atlantis, so we don't know if he will become a servant anytime soon. As much as I want to say he will be in the Olympus raid up, I think the chances are, again, very slim. I do believe we will finally get to see his character design though. Another servant many forget about is Europa. She was in the Atlantis gotcha raid up, but never made it in the chapter, which obviously is very confusing on why they added her into the gotcha raid up, but she does have a connection with Zeus in Greek mythology. Europa was abducted by Zeus and was put on the island Crete, but before Zeus abducted her, Aphrodite appeared in her dream. Apparently in the dream, Aphrodite was fighting to make Europa her possession, and when she won the rights to Europa, she told her that I will give you to Zeus. The leak also states that Aphrodite will appear as an enemy being an assassin class, which kind of makes sense actually because she can go in people's dreams. Another key character from Greek mythology is Talos. Talos is a giant bronze man who guards the island of Crete from ships entering. So in order for us to go to Crete, we might have to fight him. And according to the leak, he will make an appearance and he's going to be a berserker class. So I do believe that we're going to go to the island of Crete to save Europa and have her join us to defeat Zeus. There is also the possibility that instead of Zeus abducting her, she could be Crystaria's third servant and basically what he did is give her to Zeus so that they can be on good terms. Who else can appear in Olympus? Honestly, I don't know. There are just so many possible candidates. Poseidon's name was dropped so many times, but we got a confirmation from Canis in 
Atlantis that he is not in the Lost Belt. We also know that Drake defeated Poseidon back in Okeanos. Hades' name was also dropped a couple times, but it's hard to say if he's going to come out as well. But maybe we might get a couple name drops for future events and story. According to the leak info, we're getting a surprising servant. We are apparently getting uh, Curanus, also known as Romulus. He will apparently be a 5-star Lancer. Curanus is the name that was given to him when he became a god, a supreme being of Roman mythology. Uh, we know that both Greek and Roman mythology are quite similar, so it actually makes sense that Type Moon would want to mash these two mythologies together. Maybe more Roman servants will make an appearance, or at least be hinted, who knows. Also, according to the leak, the God of Harvest, Demeter, will come in as a caster class enemy. What's also crazy about this chapter is how much fate extra the Umbral Star references there was, such as the soundtrack playing during Orion and Artemis' conversation. Might be a long shot, but maybe Archimedes might appear, or at least be hinted. Nemo is also a servant that played a huge role in the Lost Belt with the submarine, but I don't think he will be added into the gotcha. I might have been wrong for last year's 4th anniversary event, but I think he does have a good chance of being the 5th anniversary of the servant for later this year. During Atlantis, we saw two unexpected guests. One was Miyamoto Musashi. We know she has the ability to travel between worlds. We actually saw her in the first Lost Belt chapter. She also hinted that she was traveling with a one-eyed swordsman, most likely Yagyu Jubei, so maybe he might make an appearance in Olympus or maybe later on in the Lost Belt chapters. Speaking of Musashi, according to the leak, she is supposed to get an animation update, so she actually might come back in the story to help us defeat Zeus. Second guess was Solomon or Romani. We don't exactly know just yet, but most likely Solomon as the form of Romani Maybe we will get to see him again in this chapter, but again, we just have to wait and see. As everyone knows, Masha is currently using her Ortiana suit for battle in Lost Belt. We know eventually she will be getting an upgrade, but according to the leak, she's getting that upgrade in Olympus. How will she get this upgrade? We don't know. Maybe with the technology with the nano machines, or maybe Chaldea thought it was time to get an upgrade because they're going up against stronger foes. So that's basically about it for the speculation video, guys. A lot of possible information going into Olympus. Again, this is just speculation, but I do believe my personal speculation could come true because Europa didn't appear in the story at all in Atlantis, but in the gotcha rate up. So I do believe we are going to the island of Greece. The leak does state Talos and Aphrodite do make an appearance, so that does give me hope that my speculation may be right. But what do you guys think of the other servants like Curanus, Demeter, and the updates for Musashi and Mashu? And what about the story in general for you guys? Like, what do you guys think? Comment down below and tell me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Laters!